This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to another uh, one of our uh, futile efforts to do something on the internet. Yeah, uh, boy, I'm telling you, just uh, today, I just I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It just uh, well, uh, I'll uh, I'll talk about what went on today. Let me go to uh, a gentleman who is always a part of this program once a week. Uh, and uh, we uh, we kind of do this with him uh, only because uh, we, you know, uh, how, how can I put it? We, we need I know him. why. Why? I work cheap. You work cheap. That's right. It's Phil Meyer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, as it says there. You have to leave us early tonight, right, Phil? Uh, yeah, at the, uh, the end of our little uh, deal. Yeah. Uh, if you look behind you, I'm going to be there tomorrow. Uh, it's an eight or a ten hour drive, so uh, I need to leave at a, uh, about four four in the morning mm -hmm. and uh, uh, head down there. And I've got something to do at six o'clock uh, on a Zoom call, so I've got to be there so I can set up for it. You got to do a Zoom call? Oh, you're going to cheat on us, are you? No, no, I'm uh, I'm uh, in a training for the. Mm -hmm. uh, Contra Costa District Attorney's mm -hmm. uh, Restorative Justice Panel. Oh, I see. So every Tuesday and Thursday. What is restorative justice? Uh, what it is is uh, you uh, give people an opportunity to uh, do something else other than have to go to court. So let's say somebody had a, a road rage incident and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hit another guy's car or... Uh, uh, through a bottle through somebody's window mm -hmm. and they've never been in in the court system before and this gives them an opportunity to stay out of the court system maybe do some anger management mm -hmm. or uh, possible uh, drug rehab mm -hmm. uh, those those types of things so that they get another opportunity uh, not to get in the criminal justice system Oh, okay. A lot of them are use. It's all misdemeanor stuff, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so they're, they're putting a, they're putting panels together, training us, uh, so that uh, we can ask the questions, have them say what they thought uh, was their reason for doing what they did, and uh, it's mostly uh, listening, asking questions, sort of peeling the onion, mm -hmm. and uh, well, what, what, okay. But what are you doing in Pahrump? And, and oh, why I'm, would you go to Pahrump? I mean, I know, uh, I know. I went last year. I know of Pahrump, and I don't know why anybody would want to go there. But well, uh, I'm looking for aliens. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that's you know one of the main places that they touch down. Uh, the uh, thing at Pahrump, there's a place called Front Sight Shooting Academy or something. So I'm taking a four day class. And uh, I, I just needed to take a break from work. Uh, I wanted to be where there was very little or no internet, n no phone, and uh, I'm occupied all day long. Well, then how are you going to do the Zoom call? At the hotel. Oh, at the hotel. The hotel has Wi-Fi, but it's 20 miles away. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, because where I'm going to be is, if you look behind me, it looks just like that. Mm -hmm. uh, out out in the middle of uh, uh, of nowhere, uh, on the edge of Death Valley. Well, as they say, it's it's uh, it's not the middle of nowhere, but you can see it from there. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Hey, you know, I got a question. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen if all the things that I said on the uh, drinking game spot mm -hmm. come true? They're not going to. 
Oh, well, what about the uh, attack in Ukraine? I said that they were going to, you know, the Russians were uh, Im imminent and going to attack. And you said, no way, Jose. Uh, you said, no, they're not going to do that. So, um, uh, you know, how about those Russian peacekeepers, huh? What peacekeepers? Well, that's what Putin said they are. They're, they're peacekeepers. Uh, they, they went into uh, Ukraine, uh, cer certain breakaway provinces. Well, they have the same reliability as the Oath Keepers. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it rhymes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think we're going to be paying more for gas, although you don't really care. I don't care. I, I, you know. Yeah, your, your heat's included uh, with the rent. Your rent's not going up, and, yeah. uh, and you don't drive. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it doesn't affect you. Uh, but it's, I think once it hits $7 a gallon out here, Mm -hmm. It's going to affect some people. And I think and they're going to blame that all on Biden, although he has no control over it. No, no. I, I think that he has a lot of control over it. And what he really wants and is what AOC told him he wanted, mm -hmm. which was the Green New Deal. Now, just think about it. If there's enough pain at the pump, how many people are going to get an electric car? Uh, you know, if, if all of a sudden it's costing you $150 to fill up, and uh, and it used to cost you 25 uh it's it's and let's say you spend 700 well, 800 an electric car is getting to look pretty good right now isn't it right but don't you think that maybe that is his intention and why he said oh yeah russia you pump as much oil as you want into germany uh, i don't you know, i don't think biden has that kind of agenda okay uh, I, mean, I would I, it, it's it, it's you it's not what he's saying but it's what he's doing that uh but no that, but he, do you think he wants to see gas prices go up especially in a uh, in a off-year election yes no, he was, doesn't no, he i think doesn't. he has he has an agenda and he wants to get people no, out Phil, of Phil, don't, carbon don't, burning don't cars don't be don't be absurd don't. well uh, look at it this way yes he'd like to get them out of carbon uh, emissions and and get to electric vehicles uh but um this is not that's not going to do that this fast you well, know no uh, he, he he was blessed with this war because this gives him even more uh opportunity to get people out of their uh gas cars and diesel cars and into electric cars which i think is is their agenda i don't think he has any agenda that way I, I really don't think so. Don't I think, think, he, I think uh, he would like to see people go to electric automobiles. I think he would like to see us get away from gas-powered automobiles, which I think is a good idea. I think he would also agree. And uh, I think he would like to do all of that, but I don't think he's going to do something to put us in a position where we have to. Well, okay. I don't think he meant to do this in, in, in as quickly as it's happening. Mm -hmm. But if you look around... Uh, you know, California is the bellwether for a lot of places, and you know, electric vehicles are are everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Teslas, I mean, Teslas are more common than the Volkswagen Beetle used to be in hippie town. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I, you know, I think that he has done things uh, without fully thinking them through. But when you combine, it's the perfect storm for getting people out of their gas cars and into uh, hybrids and electric. You know, it would be a good reason for people just to want to do it. You know? Yeah, well, uh, you know, I mean, he's done things, uh, uh, no fracking. And, and, I don't, and I don't know, you know, I don't know if electric automobiles are the answer either. No. Nah. Because uh, where, what, what, where do you get your power from? Well, you get it from a socket, right? And you plug and, and, the, your, and you plug your car into it, and then where does that electric that electricity come from? Well, if you're back east, it comes from a coal-powered uh, hydroelectric plant. Mm -hmm. If it comes from uh, the west coast, if, if 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 it's clean, it comes from nuclear. But we don't have a lot of nuclear plants nuclear. anymore. Nuclear. Yeah, nuclear. <laughs> so, uh, hey, Bush pronounced it that way. It's good enough for him. It's a presidential way of pronouncing it. well that's why so, we have a country full of morons now okay no we have a country full of morons because the schools were closed for two years because oh, they were God. afraid people would get a cold 
and and die. But uh, what the, what the uh, situation is with the gas is, I really think that there is an agenda, and and uh, he's very clever in his uh, in his rollout of it. He can blame it on Russia. He can blame it on Trump. He can blame it on everybody. But uh, he's he's getting what he wants and what AOC wants, which is expensive gas. And you know, do I you mean, think? I do, you think car, do you think? Do you think? Do you think that uh, Biden wakes up in the morning and says, "I wonder what OAC wants"? Uh, no, but I think that Sanders and OAC are on the same uh, and, wavelength. And, and how much power exactly do they have? Well, Sanders was instrumental in getting uh, Biden elected. How's that? Well, uh, his he support, lost. <laughs> no, no. He, uh, he pulled out of the race at a crucial time and threw his support to Biden. And, uh, uh, and Biden uh, said to Sanders that he would adopt many of the progressive uh, uh, um, uh, items that Sanders was pushing. You know, and, and has he done any of them? Yes, he has. Like what? Uh, like uh, uh, cutting off the Keystone Pipeline. No, that, uh, that, 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 was, that was a fait, a fait accompli. That was going to happen anyway. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, the Keystone Pipeline was a it was a bad idea uh, because what we were doing is we were taking oil from Canada and sending it through a pipeline to Mexico. Where it could be ex uh, extruded, but the, no, the wait, wait a minute, hold on a second. How does that possibly benefit us? It, it benefits the world by not. Well, how does it benefit us? <laughs> it it benefits us by the rest of the world not being dependent on Russian oil, uh, because right Phil, now I'm still asking you, how does that help us be not dependent on Russian oil? Because then we have more oil that we can no, use here. No, no, the oil went it was going to mexico it's not the pipeline oil that we were using we we were energy independent <laughs> prior to biden administration what Trump good what a, good what good yeah okay what good did the um uh, uh, the, the the uh what do you call it the uh, uh pipeline do for us it did nothing it gave us jobs they were high paying five thousand jobs. Well, those are five and, five, and, and five, the cities five thousand right, jobs. But, but look at all those cities in the Midwest that depended on the uh, people. That all were the people that were out of work in the auto industry. There were more than five thousand of those. Phil. The, well, uh, to finish the pipeline story, the uh, there's restaurants. There's all sorts of ancillary businesses that support those workers. Phil, that are on the, Phil, pipeline. the pipeline was Made not going to provide us with that much money, and uh, I think that the idea of doing away with it was not a bad idea. But anyway, next subject. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what uh, what do you do this week? Nothing. Yeah. No, nothing. It's yeah, been well, a really I, I boring would, week. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, I'm I'm glad it was boring. Boring is good. Uh, is it cold out there? Uh, it's, actually it actually was warm today. It was in the 60s. Yeah. yeah. What, what are you talking about? You're going to get a foot of snow? Uh, no, we're going to get about three inches of snow in New York City. Yeah. 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 Uh, that that shuts down the garbage. And uh, and uh, so it all collects up on the street, right? Nah, nah. You know they're pretty well. By the time they do the sweeping and the brushing and the you know the the, the, the uh, what do you call it, snow plowing and so on, there's nothing yeah. left. You know, yeah. it, it's it's not a big deal. Now, are the homeless still down uh, underneath your scaffolding on the street? Uh, I haven't seen them lately, but then again, I haven't been down there lately. Yeah. But the well, I'm last, just wondering. Time, last time I went down, which was a couple of days ago, no. no. Yeah, so, and now Mayor Adams uh, has uh, has been wavering on a few things. What do you think of him and uh, what he's doing with crime? I think he uh, sucks. 
yeah, well, he's not. He's not. But on the other hand, I'm not going to be like you and and say that he sucks this early on in the game. I mean, you said that Biden sucked two days into his administration, and I was right. <laughs> no, you weren't right. You know. Okay, I wasn't left. That was for sure. Yeah. Well, did you hear your boy? Uh, your boy uh, Trump has come out in favor of Putin and what he's doing no, in the I, Ukraine. No, I didn't hear that. Yes, but, yes, uh, he made did a he did a uh, posting or wherever he's heard now and said that uh, he is uh, for Putin and what Russia is doing to get the uh, Ukraine back. Uh, well, you know, I I had uh, listened to some guy on YouTube that read a letter from a Russian citizen mm -hmm. and uh they basically said that they had they had good reason for uh, uh taking uh, ukraine back yeah, but that's one russian well i understand it was just that the points that they made it was a very long letter but the points that they made uh, sounded plausible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh i guess there was some interference by obama in 2014 mm -hmm. uh and uh, uh they uh they wanted some promise that they wouldn't go into NATO and, and some other things. But uh, mm -hmm. it looks like, you know, Russia wants to regain the status that they had as the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does Ukraine have that Russia needs? But the, Russia just wants the Ukraine to be part of Russia again. Yeah, there, yeah. there isn't any There's nothing uh, else. Metals or no, no, oil no, or no. Does it give them access to? No, they just they just don't want the possibility of a NATO country near them. Now, okay. what happens if Ukraine there's emergency uh, declaration and Ukraine becomes a NATO uh, nation uh, overnight? Can that happen? What if if Ukraine yeah uh, was voted into NATO overnight? Mm -hmm. yeah. could, could that happen? Yeah, that could happen. But not right now. Why not? Why not? Because uh, they can't do it. They and they wouldn't do it. That would be provocative. Yeah, but it would also uh, put a line in the sand and uh, possibly. So they become a NATO nation. So what then? What happens? We go in and defend them. Now we got World War Three going. Yeah, I'm not crazy about defending Ukraine. Yeah. I, I mean, you know. No, but if uh, they're, they're part of NATO, we have to. I understand. They're. There is a, an, an American that's out of work right now because of what's going on in Ukraine. Hunter Biden. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> well, that's because you're smart. He hasn't been involved with the Ukrainians for years. Well, he's, you know, maybe he didn't cash the checks right away, but um, I, I'm sure he did actually cash the checks. Mm. Oh, I have a bit of good news. My, my very, very good friend, mm. uh, who I've been best friends with since I'm four years old, Mm -hmm. uh, Barry Martin was in, uh, inducted in, as a um, in, into the um, what do they call that Hall of Fame? Uh, the Country Music Hall of Fame. So he's uh, you know he, he got into the, to the Hall of Fame, Country Music Hall of Fame today. Uh, I knew about it two weeks ago, but I told him I wouldn't say anything to anybody. Mm. Okay, because uh, he said it hadn't been announced yet, and he didn't want it to get yeah, out. Yeah, well, I, I I didn't get into the Hall of Fame, so. No, no, but this is country music. Well, this uh, was radio. Yeah, well, you should have gotten into the Radio Hall of Fame. No, well, you know, no. if, if anybody should have. Let me is is is. Who's the guy that you like? Sherwood, Don Sherwood. Mm -hmm. Is he in the Hall of Fame? Yes, he Rick? is. Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so do you think that you'll be nominated again? At, oh, at maybe the, after I'm dead. Well, uh, the posthumous Hall of Fame. Posthumous. Yeah. Not whatever. the posthumous. Yeah. Not the posthumous. 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 No, it's not the hippopotamus Hall of Fame. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, uh, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll, get, they'll, they'll appreciate me when I'm dead. Yeah. You know. Well, I... I got a feeling you're just going to outlive be, the, which could be any day now. Yeah, I, I think you're going to outlive these cockers, you know, yeah, and yeah. Uh, they'll have nobody left to, to nominate because they'll all be dead. You'll still be standing there and uh, be a member of the Hall of Fame. I guess, I guess. So 
uh, now the next topic mm -hmm. is uh, everybody's taking their mask off in California. Everywhere I go, there, no one's wearing a mask. Now there's there's a few outliers there. You know, some guy in a Prius with the windows rolled up wearing his N95. Uh, you know, the, there's always one or two of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, it yesterday, you had to wear a mask. If you didn't, you were going to die of COVID. Today, no mask. Right. So, uh, now, have they dropped the mask mandates in New York? Can you see the people down on the street walking around? I don't think they've dropped the mask mandates here yet. No. Really? No. Um, they're talking about it. They're talking about it doing it soon. But well, I don't think I, I don't think so. But I intend to wear a mask. Yeah. Well, you intend to drive a Prius too, uh, but uh, well, the I don't intend to. Where'd you get that from? I don't even own a car. I know everybody who wears a mask drives a Prius and has that uh, you can't hug your children with nuclear arms sticker on the back of their car. That, you, that, by the way, that let's see that bumper sticker has not existed for forty years. Okay. <laughs> it it does with so, those. So uh, you're really a referencing old stuff. And if I want well, to hear that, I'll listen to Jack Bishop. Yeah. <laughs> it's you know the uh, in Marin they mm -hmm. still got those stickers and they're still driving the 40 year old Volvo with the uh, with the same sticker. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and they haven't gotten a haircut either. But um, boy, you really like to just uh, put people into a category. Yes, I do. Yeah, and and they and they enjoy it. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I, it feels like a certain freedom not wearing a mask, being able to go into a business. The only places that you have to wear it are uh, in the post office, um, at the at public events, uh, on a bus or subway, which I, I haven't taken one, mm -hmm. and uh, so this, those kinds of places uh, require it, but it. it the first day that I didn't have to wear it, it felt funny. I actually put it on several times, and it, and it took me a little while to get to the point where I was comfortable leaving it off. And uh, really? you know, I got into restaurants, and uh, some of the servers still wear them, but uh, for the most part, it, it has... I'm going to continue little... to wear a mask for quite a while. Yeah? Yeah, no matter what. Yeah. Well, you'll wear them when you go out. Yeah. But you don't go out. That's right. So you're not going to be wearing any masks. Well, I'll wear a mask when I go out. Yeah. And, you know, it's going to get warmer soon, and I'll start doing my walks again, and, you know. Yeah. Well, if you're, if you're six feet or so away from other people, uh, do you really need to wear it? But, you know, i got to tell you something. I'm, you know I'm really sick and tired of having happen? What's that? People I know dying. Yeah, you said your friend was uh, Tom P.J. O'Rourke. Oh, P.J. O'Rourke. Yeah. P.J. O'Rourke. Um, dead, you know. Yeah. Uh, but today I heard I, there was a guy I worked with in Houston, Texas at uh, KILT uh, named Chuck Dunaway. Uh -huh. And I, I, you know, I, Chuck went on right after me. I went on. I did the mornings as James Bond, and then he was followed me with his sh little show. Yeah. And um, I always liked Chuck. You know, Chuck was kind of a real pal. He was a, he was a surly old sort. Yeah. You know, and uh, I remember one of the funniest lines I ever heard came from him. One morning he comes in, and. Um, he uh, he had just his wife had kicked him out of the house. Yeah, fair be, enough. Because he uh, was out screwing around a lot. Mm -hmm. He was known for his screwing uh, okay. around a lot. Okay, yeah. uh, and uh, so uh, he I said, "So how's things going, Chuck?" You know, referring to that. And he said, "Do you know how boring it is coming to work every day from the same direction?" He said, I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> he yeah. said, I come to work from a different direction every day. Well, uh, I, I am sorry that uh, you're at the time in your life that your friends are starting to pass. But it's, anyway, he dropped dead. Died. Oh. But he was 87, I think. So. Oh, that's not bad. That was a good run. Not bad. I want to say one thing about uh, Rob Alfano. Mm -hmm. 
uh, you know, he uh, put together this thing called Retro Rocks. Mm -hmm. And now you can go to the Apple App Store and download the Retro Rocks app. And by touching it, uh, it'll open up immediately mm -hmm. their, their Internet station. And, you know, I, I listen, if I'm going to listen to music, I had been listening to, um, on Sirius, uh, the classic vinyl. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's 60s, mm -hmm. 70s, 80s, very similar to what uh, Rob is doing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the, the, the sound of his station, it's not just the quality, but the, 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 play, the music he's playing, the, uh, the intros that he does, uh, it is more professional and more enjoyable to listen to that. And it's almost mm -hmm. like in the old days when I would listen to a radio station, you know, whether it was WMCA or uh, uh, WPLJ mm -hmm. for, you know, when they were doing music. And uh, uh, I'm telling you, Rob's station is, is first class. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect know, anything less out of Rob. No, no. But, I, you know, and now that all you have to do is download his app from the Apple Store, and I don't know if it's on the other ones because I just have an Apple. Uh, it's 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 really easy to listen to, and and the and the music that he plays, and the other jocks that he has on the station are really great. Yeah, uh, yeah. Have, have you uh, had an opportunity to yes, listen? Yes, I have, and it's very good. It's very yeah, good. yeah. yeah. So, Retro yeah. rocks. It, Everybody should go check it out. Yeah. yeah, it's on the Apple Store. Retro rocks, right, uh, with an S. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, listen, uh, uh, I'm going to let you go because you got to get thanks. to bed early. Yeah, I got a couple more things to pack, and then uh, I, I, maybe I can get six hours of sleep. Yeah, and then I'm going to call the highway patrol and tell them there's a guy with guns in his car. <laughs> I'm allowed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have a nice uh, have a nice week. Okay. Thank you. And thank we'll, you we'll very see. much. You when are you, have a when are you back? When are you back? uh tuesday tuesday okay so we'll 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 uh, get together on wednesday maybe i'll have some more photos to put in the background okay see All you right. later ladies right. and gentlemen right. that's phil meyer okay there he goes let me see here let me uh let me let me uh, go to my camera there we go anyway uh but, but, but let me see here what do we want to do what do we want to do um uh, first of all, I, I just want to show you a picture, okay, first of all. Uh, so let me show you this, because you might enjoy it, you know. Who knows? Who knows whether you'd enjoy it or not? Anyway, um, this is a picture that was taken of me. God, I this was, I guess, when we were doing HBO's One Night Stand in, uh, in uh, San Francisco. At the Fillmore, uh, I guess I guess they called it auditorium, although it was not quite an auditorium at that point. But anyway, um, these are. Uh, let me see here. Let me just. Uh, there we go. Look at that. That's a really good picture, and it was taken by a guy by the name of. Let me go get his name here, because he 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 literally uh, put it up on my on my Facebook page. His name is Dan Dion, and apparently he took a lot of, uh, lot of pictures of comedians and so on and so forth. Since I was part of the comedy scene, he said that I was uh, uh, the guy, it kind of he refers to me as the guy who lit the fuse on the comedy explosion in San Francisco. And uh, I kind of like that picture. Good looking, uh, good looking guy, pretty good shape, I think. Uh, you know, and I'm there waiting to uh, go do my warm up for the one night stands. And I, uh, if I have to figure out when that was, I can't, I don't remember quite well. I think it was somewhere like 1987, maybe 1988, maybe later than that. Yeah, about that time. And uh, there, there, there's that uh, handsome, handsome guy, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, we have some people waiting to come on now, and uh, what we'll do is we will uh, bring them all, admit all of them, and then I, as they are coming on, I will go to my um, 
Zoom panel. Oh, boy. I froze there for a moment. Okay. Well, it's okay. I'm getting tired of this anyway. I'm freezing up and doing all things like that. By the way, I want to tell Kevin, uh, Kevin uh, I have to uh, praise you for the videos you've been putting up on YouTube. Uh, Who? You. What do I do? Oh, these uh, of the school orchestras. Oh yeah. Yeah, I suddenly noticed they're coming up like crazy on my on my YouTube. Oh, did you? Uh... Yeah, th those are from last week. Those are from last week. Yeah, they're really yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see kids playing music. You know. Yeah. It's really yeah. Good. I I record that stuff for the kids so that they can. Uh use it in class and critique themselves and that sort of thing. Where do you get the sound from? I use my iPad and then I got an external mic with a rabbit's foot on it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, then you feed that directly into the camera? I, I hang off the edge of the balcony. I usually shoot from the balcony. Yeah, yeah. And then I just hang it off the balcony. Yeah, it's uh, if you get a chance, you should go put in Kevin Stopper into uh, YouTube, and they should all come up. Probably, there's in fact there's a Kevin Stopper channel. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a couple of years worth of stuff in there. They yeah. got the Christmas saxmas in there too, all saxophones. Oh, really? Some of them. Very nice of you to do. That's very nice. That's terrific. Uh, hello to Alan. Hello to Charlie. Good to see you here tonight. Uh, and Ray Renati and Brian Neary. Boy. I just, I showed, uh, I was downstairs. I showed Adrian that picture of you. You just put, you just showed. Mm. I said, that's when Alex, when he's young. And he goes, when he's young. I said, well, he's younger. <laughs> Alex be young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Younger. That's when I was a young bro. Couldn't broth. have been too young. It's he had the receiving hairline up there. Yeah. Oh, there. Well, there's there's my there's my publicity picture from. Uh, I think oh. I took that for Channel Forty Four, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Uh, that on billboards for a while. Yes. Yes. I saw that. I on remember billboards. seeing it all the time. <laughs> yeah. But I don't. I, I know. Was that? that well, then I guess maybe that wasn't taken for Channel Forty Four. It was taken for something. I I took a bunch of pictures, and uh, that was one of them. And that one wound up on the billboards, among yeah, other. It looks like places. in the background is like the Palace of Fine Arts or something, isn't it? No, that's just a, a neutral background. Oh, okay. In the background yeah. there. Yeah. 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 The yeah. nicest piece of. Uh, San Francisco history, right? Most beautiful pa Palace of Fine Arts. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> right, Tony, Alex, don't, you, don't you hate that place? Don't you Tony, not like that? Tony's what, dining room. What do you mean? Do I hate the Palace of Fine Arts? I mean, do you like that? I thought you didn't like that. No, what I didn't like about it is the palace. The, the, literally, the Palace of Fine Arts is the worst piece of corny art <laughs> that I've ever seen in my life, and that's what makes it so lovable. For instance, mm. they've got all these nymphs on the columns, at the top oh, yeah. of the columns. Yeah. It is now, pretty. Rather than nymphs kind of lying out like this, right? <laughs> so at least you see their tits or something, you know. Right? <laughs> they're all facing inward like they're vomiting into the column. <laughs> um, oh, you have a way with words, Alex. But no, but I'm, it's true. It's true. Uh, and, and I always thought it was just very corny. It was it, it's a corny piece of art. It was made for the Pan American Exposition of 1916, I think, mm. to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the, uh, among other things, the um, earthquake. Oh. And then also the Pan American Exposition, which was celebrating, I think, the opening of the Panama Canal. If I'm not mistaken. But anyway. Uh, but we used to hold our shows in there, our New Year do our New Year's Eve shows inside the uh, Palace of Fine Arts, and it's a very nice theater. You know, that's where Letterman did his show when he came to San Francisco, and you know, it's a theater that's used by a lot of people. Very nice. So. My grandfather used to tell me he remembered when they were building it. Mm. When they were building, yeah, yeah. It, originally when it was first built, it was built out of, of plaster of Paris. Yeah. 
because it was only meant to be temporary because it was part of the Pan American Exposition and one of the smaller pavilions, I might add. (laughs) And um, they made it out of plaster of Paris. Well, then they tore everything else down around it and built what was called the marina, which is where I lived. But they left the Palace of Fine Arts. And as the years went on, it began to fall apart. In fact, you could... (laughs) You could see as you would drive by one of these columns, like you'd see the uh, chicken wire underneath it, you know, that the plaster of Paris was hanging on. So they went in there and restored it by doing hardcore uh, cement to replace the plaster of Paris. And what you have was this thing, which is there. Everybody sees it in pictures of San Francisco, you know, this lake, and then this thing with columns and a big dome and so on. And it was, it's a, it's a, it, I think it's pretty impressive. It was nice to live in that area, mm. you know, and to be able to. Yeah, take I like, I like, <clears throat> I like going up there and uh, the, the lawn on the marina where you see the Golden Gate Bridge right behind. Mm-hmm. And then there's, there's like soccer games going on, you know, the organized soccer games. And it's pretty cool just to, to be out in that area. And, you know, just the Golden Gate Bridge just, just happens to be behind you, you know. Well, that whole area there were, was a big, just giant pavilion of one pavilion after another, of giant yeah. structures uh, that was done just for the exposition, which was through in uh, less than a year, I think. And then what was left was the, uh, was the Palace of Fine Arts. Uh, you know, uh, we, we name a lot of things Palace. The one I always loved most of all. Now, I'm going to say a term here. Uh, Well, of course, Stopper's from California, and Alan's from California, and Brian's from California, and Ray's from California. The only person here that isn't from California right now is uh, uh, Charlie. So I'm going to tell you the name of a place, and you tell me what it conjures up to you. Because when I used to say it all the time, I just said it because that's where something was happening. And I never thought of the implications of somebody who didn't know what it was, of what it meant. What if I told you there was a place that they held concerts? And in fact, I think, uh, did the Beatles play there? I'm thinking, I can't remember now, maybe not. Uh, Called the Cow Palace. Mm. I've seen many. Now, isn't that- Neil Young there four times. No, no, but if you separate that, if you separate that from knowing what it is to Oh, you're gonna do you're gonna do a show at a place called the Cow Palace? <laughs> what is that? A palace for cows? What? Yes, uh, Charlie. Well, here in Texas, we have a lot of concerts at rodeo arenas. So mm. I just assumed it was a rodeo arena in San Francisco. No, yeah. it, well, it used to be. No, yeah, yeah, it used to. <laughs> not really. No. The Cow no. Palace. It's actually not even in San Francisco. It's in Brisbane. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. In a real bad gang-infested neighborhood nowadays. And and Cow Palace, do they still hold things at the Cow Palace? Yes. They do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But when I say the Cow Palace, people would like go, the Cow Palace? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I used to say, well, we, it, it would have done better if they had like given it its French name, which would be the Palais du Vache. <laughs> and then everybody would go, oh, the Palais du Vache. Oh, everybody, this is, oh, that sounds great. You're going to the Palais du Vache. No, I'm going to the Cow Palace. <laughs> yeah. So I was nine years old, and my parents, <clears throat> my parents used to go to concerts all the time. Mm-hmm. And so they took me one night, and they surprised me, and we went down the, the <laughs> road when you turn the Cow Palace, and it was St. Elvis Presley. That was his last concert. In this area, I don't know if that's his last concert, 1976, but mm. my d- mom and dad and I went. Really? Died in, died in 77, didn't he? Hmm? Huh? He died in 77, didn't he? I, I think somewhere so. on there. Yeah. Somewhere on. The only concert I ever saw at the Cow Palace was Jan and Dean. Mm. <laughs> really? Warriors yeah. used to play there. Oh, uh, you know. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to go see him there all the time. Well, I saw I saw Prince there, yeah. and I'm trying to think. Did the Beatles play there? No, I don't think so. Candlestick. They played a candlestick. Candlestick. They played candlestick. candlestick. Yeah. Well, one of the guys, Tyson Zacosta, said they played Beatles played there in '64 and '65. Oh. at the Cow Palace, huh? Hmm. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, yeah. So, so he said they did play there. 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hmm. I figure they did. I somehow seem to vaguely remember that they did. You know. Uh, the uh, I think the lab one of the last concerts the, uh, um, uh, the what do you call it the who was that punk group from England the, uh, who you know uh, the the punk group from England um, uh, Sex one? Pistols that was their last that was the last concert was it uh, I believe I don't know maybe no maybe the, maybe the last concert was at the Fillmore Auditorium mm-hmm. you know but anyway. I forget. All these things are just a vacant memory to me, you know. And as each day passes by, I start forgetting stuff all about all these things. So, you know. Welcome to the club. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. Uh, I uh, you know you know that Russia attacked Ukraine for real now, right? They That's did. what they. I just saw it in the. I just watched it on the news. It's horrible. There's bombs and everything going on. Hmm? So whole hog, man, huh? Really? Yep. 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 Oh, boy. I think we've got a little Hitler on our hands right there. I sure do. And World he said if anybody does anything against him, they, he will, they will see retaliation of, uh, of, a, of an amount that no one has ever seen. That's what he said. That's what Putin said? I think Putin's yep. gone crazy, to be honest. Yeah. I think he has, too. I think, he had dinner with Trump one night, and then he went over the hill. Well, Trump's, Trump, def- Trump's defending Trump. him. Yeah, he's, he's on the guy saying he's a genius. thing, calling him a genius. I yeah. saw that on the news. Yeah. Well, Putin doesn't, doesn't surprise me, the idiot that he is. Well, wait a minute. Let me see here. Let me go to Drudge. I, a Drudge <laughs> will have something about it. Well, I guess that does away with my theory that he's not going to attack. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Phil was talking about. I don't uh, think he was. I think, well, I don't know, because I don't think Phil had. No, Phil didn't know this was going on yet. Yeah. But this, I just saw I, it. I, I, well, I saw it earlier, a couple hours ago, that he attacked. But I think that's the second time this year that Phil might have been right. Okay, countdown to World War Three. it says here on Drudge. Explosions yeah. near Kiev. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it, no, Kiev. Oh, you can see, well, in France. Not gonna stop there. No, if you're Russian, you call it Kiev. Yeah. If France, you're it's Ukrainian, Kiev. you call it Kiev. Oh, okay. <clears throat> CNN has the guy on the on the tower. You know, and they always have the guy who's on top of the the building with those hard hat, you know, the, the military hat on. <laughs> they got one guy in there now. <laughs> what is Russia gonna do? Because the United States, the UK, and Germany are all getting together right now. It's three superpowers, so to speak. I don't see how he's going to attack three different places. Although he's got China on his side, you could bet on that. Well, he's he's implying nuclear. That's the problem. I'm sure. Yeah, and there are reports that the queen is dead, but they're not true. Phil's not dead. He was just on the show. The queen! Oh, I thought you said a queen. Sorry. Oh, no, the queen. <laughs> no, the queen's got COVID. She's doing okay. No, it's, uh, there are people saying she's dead. Uh, well, that's what happens. Do you think Greece China's going to back Putin? Uh, I don't think they're going to get involved. Yeah, I don't think so either. No, I don't think you they want to. China any... will stay out of this? Uh, yeah. China will stay out of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. They got a long border again with Russia over there in Asia. Yep, they sure do. So then Russia who's, gonna... who's next after Ukraine? Yeah, well, who's he going to go after? Uh, Poland. Poland's right there. Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to go after every 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 uh, country that was in the Eastern Bloc. Yep, I think he you're wants right. to rebuild the Soviet Union. Yeah. He's yeah. going crazy. I think yeah. he's really nuts. I, I really think that. This is a perfect example of, again, the horrors of somebody who's crazy, yeah, having power, having you know? power, yeah, yeah, and and uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, who knows what's going to happen if uh, Biden doesn't get reelected and where we're going to side ourselves in all of this? I don't think we're going to allow ourselves to be dragged into a war. You know, we can go in there to tr- try and defend. Ukraine, 
but we have no pretext to do it because they're not part of NATO. And we can't take care of our own people. Why are we fighting another war? Well, I mean, if we go in there, we're into World War Three. Okay. We Period. don't have a choice if he attacks a NATO country. Well, he won't attack a NATO yeah, country. Yeah, but Ukraine's not NATO. I know, but I'm saying, what makes you think against Poland's NATO? Isn't it? The combined, Probably. I think the combined forces of NATO could wipe him out. Okay, that might not be a Estonia's, bad. Estonia is NATO. Estonia is what? In NATO. In NATO. It, yeah. So they're right next to Russia. So is Paul, maybe, maybe, is, is maybe Paul, when NATO wipes them out, we could have Trump sitting to have lunch with uh, Putin at the same is, time. Is is is, uh, is? Let me ask you this: Pol Poland is it part of NATO? I'll have to check. Yeah. Um, Germany is. UK is. I share Alexis. Alexa. Oh yeah. yeah I'll tell you right away. Well yeah. Uh, Echo. Is Poland part of NATO? Here's something I found on the web. According to ittimes.com.au, Poland is a member of NATO since March 1999. Okay, there's your answer. Oh, 99. Just got in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Poland is part of NATO. Wow. Um, so maybe he won't attack NATO, a NATO country. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't put anything past him. Hell, uh, neither would I. Slovakia, Hungary. Yeah. yeah, he's 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 emboldened Trump. You know, he he made him look look like he was king of the world. And Trump Trump will blame Biden, you know. When if Trump's Trump, cheering him on. And he'll say, Oh, if I was in office, this wouldn't be happening. Yeah, he's already that done that. Yeah, he oh, that. Yeah. 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 Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, Putin used uh, Trump like he uses other people. Trump yep. just didn't realize see, it. Here it is on Drudge. There we go, folks. You, you guys can't see it, but I'm showing it to the audience. Countdown Full. to World Six. War Three. Wait a minute. Six. Hold on a second, folks. I got to move this back up again. Um, there we go. So, you know, that's not good. Anyway, oh uh, boy. So somebody talk about something. I'm depressed. Why over this? Yeah. I am. You watch the TV. It's really depressing. I mean, yeah. I haven't watched the news in a couple turn, of days. Turn your mic up a little bit, Ray. Your mic is suddenly down. Is that is that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you watch the TV. It's just explosions and yeah, and this beautiful set city I've never been to and you just hear the, the explosions well, in the background let me just turn it on let me see here uh, yeah I just saw a picture they showed another town I forget where that was that was bombed and they show pictures of that before you know really beautiful nice city park and everything and then geez just wiped out well let me see my TV is frozen hmm and my thing is over there. Oh boy, this TV is frozen. Hold, hold on a second. I gotta run over here and just get Marjorie. Holy it's crap. gonna be all over the news for the next week. You can watch it there. Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. Let me see here. Let me see here. Let me go live. Uh, here we go. Let me see here. Uh, well, if they've done all that bombing, I think there's probably a lot of casualties already. Yeah, I'm, I'm, there's, I'm looking at Twitter. There's a bunch of buildings on fire. Wow. Yeah, well, on the outskirts, they got a bunch of people out. But one, the deeper they go in, they're going to start hitting people. Yeah, yeah. They missile got a launch. bunch of people on the outskirts out already. There's a video of a miss, huge missile launch right here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What are you watching, Ray? I, I'm looking at videos on Twitter that are always oh. like the latest, like people actually sending them from their homes. Now there's some oh, there's some guy reporting from Kharkiv, which is not, uh, which is kind of a long way away from uh, from. Uh, uh, oh, Richard Keith. Engels there, and he's Keith. in a fucking trench. That guy's nuts. 
Well, yeah. the, you know, he has been I, asking. Well, he's that been, guy has balls. Yeah. He's been asking. That's all I can say. He's well. I think he really enjoys it. He does. <laughs> I, and he's got a he's got a kid that's seriously sick too. He's got a kid that has a rare disease, and he leaves that kid to go stand in the trench of a war. Who are you talking about? Richard, Richard Engel. Richard oh. Engel with NBC. Yeah. yeah. His kid has got, I forgot what disease it is. It's just devastating for the kid. Yeah. And he leaves that kid all the time with his wife. And he'll go to, you know, okay. Afghanistan and hang outside of Obama's and, you know, Osama bin Laden's house and shit. <laughs> Look, there goes another bomb. <laughs> Here's my question for you. How long, how, how long do you think the um, prime minister of the Ukraine is going to be alive. Yeah, he, know, he, like he won't leave. More worried about putting a freaking bounty on Putin. Jeez. The, the people are, were, you know, were telling him to leave, and he said he just won't because he's he's not. None of those people will. They're all pretty damn. They're pretty damn determined to to hold the ground there. Well, the Ukrainian people I've known are tough as hell. I'll tell you that they are. <laughs> like Croatians. Yep. Yeah. They're saying they're going to be a lot worse, a lot harder to tackle than the Afghanistan people were. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Well, the Russians didn't do very good in Afghanistan. Exactly, and that's what that's what what's his name, who the mm -hmm. president said of uh, Ukraine. Yep. Yep. Well, I guess this is this is sad. This is really sad. It is. And who were we talking so to depressing. the other day who had been, oh, uh, I was talking to Shecky on the Monday show. Yeah. And Shecky was in the Ukraine at one time. He says, very nice country now. <coughs> you know, used to be a terrible country. It's full of poverty and everything else. And in recent years, it has really turned into a very beautiful, beautiful country. And here we go. Decimate another country. Why do we do this? Why do people do this? What is it? You would think, you know, I've often said that you would think that as the human race, we would have become much more uh, civilized as years go on rather than continue with this, pre, you know, this barbaric kind of lifestyle that we live on this planet. And I don't understand it. You know, so it's so wow. yeah. when you go on Twitter, it's really scary on Twitter. It's horrible on Twitter. Like all these people are showing <laughs> pictures and videos of fires yeah. and bombs. And I hope that I hope that Ukraine sends some missiles into Russia. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I'm getting some messages tonight on my equipment here that, um, uh, uh, my uh, my CPU is overloaded or something like that, and uh, uh, so we may be freezing up from time to time, or is we Jack may just be on tonight? huh? Is Jack Bishop going to be on? Oh tonight? yeah, he's on tonight. Yeah, they they restored his internet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Was that because of the bad weather? Because, you know, it went from like 86 degrees to 32 degrees in a few hours. Wow. Well, there was something. It wasn't It wasn't a wide-ranging problem. It was just a problem at his place. Wow. So perhaps they had to do some rewiring or something, you know. It makes me nervous when he doesn't show up like he maybe he's falling again or something. Uh, no, yeah. no, I, you know. Fortunately, I was able to get a hold of you and you told me his internet. Yeah, there's no way I could go on and... and Tell everybody, you know. Right. I mean, I suppose I could. Have I I told know. Mike, I told Amy, and uh, Charlie wasn't going to be on. I don't think. No, yeah. I was on. I told, I told him tonight that Jack wasn't on last night. So. Yeah, yeah. But uh, um, you know, I mean, so anyway, uh, I, I, I get it, I get word from I got with the word from Jack actually that, that this guy died. This guy I'd worked with years ago at uh, KILT. In Houston, uh, and uh, I, uh, you know, I just, I guess, I, I, the older I get, the more people I'm going to see go. You know, that, that happens to all of us. Yeah, maybe uh, not but, Brian; he's a youngster. But no, uh, some friends started passing away lately. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, I thought about you when I when I uh, heard of uh, the PJ O'Rourke. Yeah. Yeah. PJ O'Rourke win. Uh, you know. Oh, it, really? Yeah. Wow. So I mean, it, it, it it's one person after another. You know. And uh, hell, next month I go in for my uh, my urologist, uh, and I've got a couple of complaints, but I'm sure it all has a, to do with the operations that I had and so on, just causing certain certain problems. But I I think hope you know who knows I I really don't know I just I'm just got this I, I've got to stop taking this drug this pregabalin it's just not. Not doing right by me, you know. I've become a vegetable, you know, mentally, mm. mentally. Although maybe it's just getting old, huh? So anyway. it didn't affect me that way. I took it for three years. Really? Yeah. And it didn't affect your. No, no. Yeah. But like I said, finally my uh, neuropathy got so bad that the pain was completely gone. So I quit taking it. Oh, what made the neuropathy got no, so feet, bad yeah. that? Yeah, because uh, you know you have like tingling and burning and stuff that keeps you awake at night. And I used yeah. to take the javelin for that. Yeah, and then, and then finally the the nerves just died. I guess and I can't feel anything, not hot or cold or pain or anything in my. So feet. we could probably just throw hot water all over your feet and you wouldn't feel it. No. Huh. That's why I have to be careful when I'm umpiring in freezing weather because ah, I'll, I'll, yes. never find, I'll never feel it if yep. I get frostbite. Mm. I have to really wrap up good. <clears throat> Is that the same thing as gabapentin? Uh, uh, yes. Okay. It's so kind Alice, of, I, kind I couldn't of. take it either. It totally messed with me. When I had nerve damage in my shoulder, I couldn't take it. Yeah. Could, yeah. It, was just, it just made you feel like loopy, right? And it made me feel loopy. It also made the pain worse. So then I switched. Really? Oh. Yeah. 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 I then I switched out. to the other one that begins with the L. I can't. Uh, Lyrica, which is Lyrica. Pre yeah. Pre yeah. Pre that, that got rid of the pain, but it looped me out. I was that's what I'm taking. Loop so that, yeah. That, that I, I couldn't remember out. anything. Yeah. I, I every time I sat down that's quietly, what, that's I started what I falling got. asleep. Mm -hmm. I can't remember anything. Like, I was in a show at the time, and I had to stop taking it because I had these scene changes, and I couldn't remember what, like what I was where I was supposed to put stuff when I got off stage. I had no, I had no memory of it. It was horrible. Yeah, yeah that's well, it's got to be terrible if you're an actor and you yeah. got to remember oh, it was the lines. And although I was okay with the lines, but I couldn't remember the physical things I had to do. Um, oh, right. Well, between right. scenes, because we had all this work we had to do. Well, I, I hate remember when that happens. You go to the bathroom. Oh, wait a minute. There's the Richard wine. Engel. He's on right now. Duck Richard. <laughs> you know. I mean, and it made me super sleepy. Like any anytime I sit down, I'd start just dozing off. Really? Well, I <laughs> yeah, what, and and my memory. In case people don't know shot. what we're talking about, it's called Lyrica, mm -hmm. and it has a pregabalin as its generic name, and yeah. and I couldn't go with the gabapentin because it, again did the same thing to me. It made my feet hurt worse. Yes. So I've started taking the pregabalin, and it makes me kind of like I, I forget stuff. That's you know, what happened to me. And I forget also when I'm doing stuff here, and like the show's over, and now I've got to put this and post that and do this and do that. If I don't do it in the exact order I normally do it, like I stop because somebody calls me or something, I, I can't figure out where I was. Mm. You know? And, and that has nothing to do with being old, it has to do with this drug. Yeah. And what I hate, and I got to say this about getting older, and I think you'll probably agree, Jeff, because you're going through this problem. Mm -hmm. time, time, <laughs> is doctors will give you drugs that are not, just make you a vegetable, but they don't care because, hey, you're 82 years old. You can mm -hmm. afford to be a vegetable. Jeez. You know, they don't think of other ways of solving the problem besides having us take this particular medicine. And I can't think that because of neuropathy, the only pill available is either gabapentin or pregabalin. I just don't believe that. Mm. You know, there gotta be other ways of solving this problem. But anyway, so, it, you know, it, uh, you know. Uh, it, it works for most people. I hate, not, but I hate. But like all drugs, it's not gonna work for everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> well, no, it works for me. There's no question about the fact that it works, but that's but not, not the point. It's the side effects that completely throw me off. 
Get it. You know, I had well, the same it's, exact it's, thing. It got it like got rid of my pain. I was so relieved, but mm-hmm. I I got really stupid. R- 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 yeah, so I stopped. Very, I stopped taking it. Really? Yeah. Really. I took it one night, and that was ten fire. years ago. So I wasn't. I was only fifty. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Hmm. It's not. That's not good. <laughs> no. No, I'm just telling you, it's like I don't. I don't think it's age. It's highly likely that it's the lyrica. Yeah, yeah. it could well be. But mm-hmm. anyway, so you know, so that's that's part Maybe of. That's what Donald Trump's on. He thinks he's king. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I went by his house just the other day. Really? Yeah. You know what he just did? He just he just is now claiming that this is Biden's fault. He yeah. just said, of course he is. He just He's put that out. Today too. What is Biden's fault? On his new the invasion. Channel. The invasion is Biden's fault. Oh, here, yes. here comes the newly interneted Jack Bishop, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Here he comes. There he is. Oh, he wasn't listening earlier. Why? Because <laughs> of your comment about Jack's show. Oh, well, he's always talking about old stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, there isn't hasn't been a TV show. The Gablin's working on him right now. He's thinking, what am I? What was I? What did I come here for? Does Jack hear us? Jack, can you hear us? I hear you loud and clear. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> there he is. I just happen to like old TV shows, but uh, hey, uh, talking about uh, uh, Lyrica and Gabapentine and uh, neuropathy. There is an old drug that you guys may try. Oh no! And uh, don't say it. Uh, don't say it. Go ahead. I know. Well, you say it. No, I'm not going to say it. I. I, I Elaville. Elaville is terrible. It Ever it did of? wonders for me, and uh, I was just talking to uh, uh, the person I'm seeing for my neuropathy and and about why they took me off of it. And he said, if it worked for you, they should have left you on it. Well, Ellaville, you know what it did to me? What did it do to you? It made me just plain mean. Oh. Wow. Really? Oh, it made well. me nasty and mean. Ellaville and Pergabalin and all those, these are psychi- psychiatry drugs. And they find that a lot of psychiatry drugs work to um, stop pain. Yeah, and some work better. Ellaville, e- Ellaville would stop the pain, but it made me. I, we went on. Loopy. Uh, we went on vacation to Vermont, <laughs> and I decided to stop taking the Ellaville, and I got mean, really yeah. nasty. You got to taper off of these things. It, no, well, I mean, yeah. I, you know, it was it was terrible. It was a terrible drug. I mean, I'm glad it helped you, Jack, but man, it was terrible for me. It affects the serotonin and norepinephrine in in your brain. Norepinephrine, yeah. Norepinephrine, thank you, in your brain. Well, before I I announce the fact that I'll be on tonight, I want to ask Charlie Wallace a question. Do you have balance issues? Because that's the reason. Well, sure, he doesn't have any toes. I can't feel, I'm missing six (laughs) toes for one. And I can hardly feel my feet. I can barely feel pressure. Yeah. Do you have trouble walking? Because I have trouble walking now. Um, I have to concentrate. But if I'm if I get distracted, like if I pick up my mail and I start looking through it while I'm walking, I'll fall down. Welcome well, to Alex's well, physical way. rehab center. <laughs> so I have to, that's, well, that's way ahead of me. See, I could show you my my friend trigger back here but, that I used to walk with. By the way, this is real uh, bait for younger people. <laughs> Well, listen. Stuff to look forward to. (laughs) This is stuff they need to know. I had a buddy. We were talking about prostate problems one day. This buddy of mine, when we were both, oh, in our 50s, uh, his his son literally. We just went down five people, by the way. Go ahead. You don't need need those damn people anyway because they're not learning anything. His son, who at that time was about 20, stuck his fingers in his ears and literally went la, 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 la. Of course, now that he himself is 50, he's going, he's asking me, hey, man, would you mind telling me about prostate stuff again? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's because the finger doesn't go in the ear anymore to check that's the right. prostate. That's right. 
kids listening to us, you know when you know you're getting old? It's when mm. you go out to dinner with people your same age and the first discussion is medical. Yeah. Mm. You know? Really, I'm serious. And when 20 numbers on your phone all start with doctor, you'll know you're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Marjorie has, uh, I don't know how many doctors she has. But if, on speed dial. if she didn't have all those doctors, she'd have no social life. <laughs> well, know. I just picked up three more in the last two weeks. Really? Yeah. I, you know, i tell you something. I do everything I can to fight getting into what I call the doctor mill. Because what you do is you go to a doctor and he says, oh, you know, you have this. So here's go to this doctor, and then that doctor oh. says, well, you also have this, so go to that doctor. Before you know it, it's like you're a snowball gathering doctors as you roll down the hill. Seven of them. Seven, Seven of them. Seven. I've only got, I think, let's see, i got the urologist, I've got the neurologist. Yeah. Uh, I've got my GP, who is also a, um, um, a heart doc, cardi a cardiologist. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. What else do, uh, do I mention? In all of my favorites, keep going, Bubba. Yeah, that's, really, <laughs> that's it for me. I don't. I, uh, oh. I got rheumatologist. <laughs> you do, you do uh, Doctor Bingo. Doctor uh, Bingo. People that have uh, diabetes, endocrinologist. I got endocrinologist. Yeah. I am. Well, I went to an ear doctor because I was having problems uh, with my uh, with my balance. And uh, I want them on to check to see if it, they said, well, it might be your ears. So they sent me to this doctor who then sent me to another doctor who then put earphones on me and made me hear all kinds of sounds and things like that and determined that I didn't have a problem. Audiologist is what you went to that uh, last uh, Audiologist, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep but, going. You, you mentioned some of my favorite people. Really? Well, that's actress, it for me. That's it for me. My toes. See, I, I, I see two doctors tomorrow. I see the podiatrist. And oh, then my God. The... This is really. I, I, <laughs> oh, we're, are we not, we lost another two people. Keep going. Keep hey, going. Did you, know, did you know Russia invaded Ukraine? Can we talk about that? <laughs> yeah, the number. Oh, my God. When did that happen? When did it that's an invader tryst. They're, they're showing downtown Kiev, and it's just people driving their cars back and forth. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, of Cam. It's morning there now. Yeah. yeah. People are going to work. I saw a school bus. They're playing chicken to see next, if the next bomb would hit them. Yeah. You know, this is a this thing that's going on in Russia, and uh, this is a chance for us to go back to the old ways where kings meet on the battleground and they kill each other first <laughs> good luck. that's good <laughs> put Trump in office let him go first <laughs> yeah really yeah he's the real president anyway. he can't he's, he, he, i say put him on horses with them big minute. long hey, spears hey, go, he, go, go, go easy on Jousting. go Jousting. easy on trump he has bone spurs okay <laughs> fuck him he's in hmm. you know. but wouldn't you like to see these world leaders I think it was W.C. Fields uh, in 1941 who uh, was asked by Life magazine, what would he do to bring about world peace and to prevent uh, what looked like it was going to be a coming war? He said, get all of the leaders in the Hollywood Bowl with socks filled with horse shit and have them go at each other. Did he say horse shit? He said horse shit, but the magazine didn't publish horse shit. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Well, you know, I just, uh, it just. I like, I, I oh. like Kevin's idea, jousting, jousting. 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 Jousting, thank you. Yeah, jousting is good. Hey, yeah, but could we have the crew that did the, the uh, Super Bowl uh, halftime do that one too? <laughs> do yeah, what? right. That's some entertainment with our blood, guts, and gore. I did, you didn't like the, the uh, halftime? I loved it. Oh, it was I terrific. It. it was terrific. Yeah. But uh, has anybody here heard of a group called the Growl? Music group called the Growl? No. Hmm. A young friend of mine, young, 50 years old, listens to this group. And I was in the car with them here a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I'd gotten old when I listened to this group because for the first time in my life, there were actually lyrics that offended me. <laughs> <laughs> rap rap doesn't offend you? 
Wrap up yeah. me. Well, that's because you're white. <laughs> the rap never I offended me. Former cop. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I guess you didn't like fuck the police or any of those kind of songs. Yeah. Yeah. But, but why would you be offended by that? Oh no, yeah. yeah. I mean, you hear that. You know, when you were a cop, you heard that all the time. Fuck I don't you. like all. I don't like all the racial stuff in rap. Mm. Nah, me either. Well, the yeah, I agree. Wearing. I don't like the swearing. I, I don't care if somebody says "fuck the police." I mean, they say that to your face. What about how they talk about women? It's pretty bad. That's what that, I didn't that's like bad about. too. That bugs the hell out of me. Everyone's yeah. a bitch and a whore. And Eminem's wife was taking him to court for marital that's right, reasons, yeah. for divorce, and 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 uh, the judge says, "Don't you know he's crazy?" And she says, oh, "Yeah, but I want money from him and stuff." And he says. The judge says, yeah, he, he sings a song about putting his wife or girlfriend in the trunk of a car and pushing it into a lake. And she says, I'll take the money. I'll take the money, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, uh, the lyrics. you know, I, I uh, um, uh, you know, I mean, I understand what, uh, in, mo uh, in most cases, rap and, and, uh, is, is about. And that is that it's the same as folk singers used to be. They're telling stories about the culture. If you want to hear what rap <laughs> should be about, you have to go back to a group called the Last Poets. Well, I used to have them on my show here in New York. Yeah, really? I, you I, I, son of a gun. I, 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 I thought they were way too hip for the rap. I used to refer to, when the first time I heard rap, I said, it's all been done before by the last poets. And then I would play people the last poets, and they'd go, yeah, I guess you're right, because that's exactly what, where it all started. The last mm -hmm. poets taught me where it all started. In prisons, they used to have things called toasts, and they would all get together and, and do these toasts, which were basically what you hear as rap, and it was what the last poets wound up doing as, as their musical uh, thing. And uh, they said that that's where it started. That whole uh, rap started at that, in, that, in that context. And then it went to the last poets were the first time I ever heard anything like that. You well, uh, the, along with the last poets, there was a guy named Bill Scott Heron mm -hmm. yep. who died just a few years ago. And, and uh, he gave us one of the most uh, iconic bits of poetry called "The Revolution Will Not Be, be Televised,", televised right? Yeah. But where, <clears throat> but where uh, all of that took a bad turn was with a group called the Sugar Hill Gang. Oh yeah, Rappers Delight. Yeah, Rappers but, Delight. But let me let me Rappers ask you delight. this though: Don't you think that the last poets have never been given enough credit? Never, yeah, never. You know, I mean, it was amazing because when I first heard rap, people went, "Oh, this is amazing! It's brand new! It's a whole big." Th I said, "I've heard it before." I said, "What?" I said, "These people on call the last poets. This is exactly what they did." I tried to get a station. I wasn't working at this station, but I tried <laughs> to get a station that was aimed at a young black audience to play the last poets, and the program director who was a protege of mine, said, Bish, these kids wouldn't get what these guys are talking about. So when I'm, old guys like me and you mm -hmm. are hipper I'm, I'm, than I'm the I'm young guys, you got a real cultural problem. Yeah. 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 Well, I wish I had, I really wish I had <clears throat> some of their, some of their stuff here. And I wish I had some of the interviews <laughs> I did with them. You know. When I was a kid, I would try to tune in KDIA and listen to Sugar Hill Gang and all those. Ah, uh, you, you you want to be? I was, yes, I was. <laughs> I'll, I'll give I played you basketball. A, I played exactly. basketball with other brothers. So. K KDIA was the black station in the Bay Area. <laughs> was one, of two Lucky one of two. What was the other one? One that I worked at that you said was an equal opportunity plantation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so well. Huh? K KSOL. KSOL. Yeah, KSOL was the other one. Yeah, well, KDIA KSOL. had uh, it was all black station, but its biggest disc jockey wasn't black. Really? Who was that? Yeah. Jumping George? George Oxford. What about? I remember him. Yeah. 
But Jack Bishop will know Mike Michael Erickson. Remember, he passed away, but Michael Erickson. Well, Michael after Erickson, my time. He was white, and everybody thought he was black because all the music he used to play. Well, well, at one time, on the two black yeah, yeah. stations, three of the uh, uh, drive see. guys were white. Mm. A guy named uh, Larry O'Brien, who used the name Charlie Baby Brown, mm. <laughs> Jumpin' George Oxford, and a dear friend of mine, a guy named Ron Hart, who called himself Dr. Soul. <laughs> And they were all white? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, again, let me put it this way. Equal opportunity hadn't yet wended its way into black radio stations. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty terrible. In, here in the Dallas market, they two guys doing country radio on the two big country stations were me and another black dude. And I was just thinking about that as I was walking in. Hearing some of this oh, conversation. I gotta, t I gotta tell you something. As long as we're talking about this kind of stuff, guess who the latest person is being attacked by women uh, as being as being a rapist and being misogynist. Oh, you're not a, talking about Jerry Lewis. Jerry you? Lewis. <laughs> Boy, I, I saw God. that today. Yeah, I can believe it. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you think maybe we should put a timeout? After somebody has died, I mean, if yeah. he didn't, if he didn't label him by the time he died, leave him alone because there's no way he can defend himself. Exactly. Right? Maybe not a timeout, maybe a time limit. You know. And yes, <laughs> I always thought it was misogynistic the way he used to say, "Lady." <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Lewis was responsible for me changing my name for the radio. Hmm. Really? Why? Irving. <laughs> well, we can go back to these drugs we were talking about, and they're all Jerry Lewis drugs. For instance, pregabalin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pregabalin. Riboflavin. Oh, yeah. well, that's the funniest shit we've done in a long time. <laughs> But, you know, yeah. going along that same line. Mm -hmm. But Jerry Lewis, I mean, they're going after the guy, and yeah. he's dead. He well, is hey. dead. <laughs> yeah, I, he's dead. He can't sue him back. Right. This, these women, uh, these the women on, these vanity, on a Vanity Fair video are talking about the time that Jerry Lewis raped them, and the reason they're coming out now is they feel the women's movement is now strong enough. The, wait a minute. No, the reason you're coming out now is because he's dead. Yeah. You know, and they're doing this uh, this thing about you, Hefner. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, which is really just vilifying the man. Yeah, and I'm thinking again, hey, come on, you know, I probably it's all true, but he's dead, okay, I, you know, my and, father and he can't defend himself. Playboy, huh? My father enjoyed Playboy, and there was a Playboy club in San Francisco. Hugh yeah. Hefner probably saved a lot of marriages <laughs> how's how's but, how's yeah. that uh, because the the husband was able to go take his playboy magazine <laughs> room or into the bathtub alone what do you mean the stuff what alex is that? talking about is what those girls are saying that they did at the parties and stuff which is I, I, yeah, yeah but I, then there were all I, those wives who were going you're reading that again yep no just looking at the pictures or <laughs> my, my father, will you get out of the bathroom was, please yeah. Yeah, we know you're in there with your playboy. My father, we, we were not, not to disturb my father. My father would be in the bathtub smoking a cigar reading his playboy. Don't when my first wife was alive, I used to read Hustler because of Alex's column. And she said, what? You're reading that piece of shit and you say you're reading it for your friend's column? And I said, yeah, she didn't believe me. Mm. <laughs> Only thing I ever read in Hustler. Hustler. Really, it was the only thing you ever read in Hustler. I yeah, I'll, I'll I'll bought it for the pictures. I'm sorry, but yeah, when really. I found that your column was in. I used to read. But that. my column was your excuse. That's what it was. <laughs> I didn't need an excuse. <laughs> well, I thought the pictures were a little too how shall I, we say medical for me. I don't need to know that much about what's going on in there. You know? Well, when you would talk at the pictures, they kind you kind of get an echo back. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I thought what was really clever of, of uh, Playboy was the scratch and sniff. Yeah. That was that was a great. Uh, uh, I don't know what just just a. They the never did. Play, Playboy yeah. never did a scratch and sniff, did they? Somebody did because somebody I did. Maybe it was maybe it was maybe it was it penthouse. was penthouse, but one of them did it. Yeah, yeah. one of them yeah. did it. They did. Might have. Well, I view Penthouse Forum as a user's manual. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it could have been. It could have been Hustler because it's the kind of thing my, my friend uh, Bruce David, who was the editor of Hustler, which is the reason I wrote for him, uh, the, the kind of thing he would come up with. He, you know, what he came up with that he is famous for, the meat grinder cover. Oh. With a woman being. The, oh, the, I remember that. It, it, oh, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. A, in a meat grinder and saying we're no longer going to treat women as meat any longer. Yeah. You know, so. God, the first hustler I saw, I remember I was in high school and there was pages of uh, uh, body, like destroyed bodies in Vietnam. Oh, my God. It was mm. the most horrible thing I'd ever seen. Like just burned. Well, that there. certainly got rid of our erection. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. We had Playboys all over the house. My parents were really like hippie hippie stuff, so they had Playboys. We have I have pictures of like my birthdays and stuff, and you see magazines there, and I know what those were. Well, the exciting thing for me was to get the cover, and you have to look for the little bunny somewhere on the cover. Yeah, right. But it was there, always there's one of there's one thing that that somebody said once, and I thought it was really good, is that Playboy showed that if you did great literature and surrounded it with these naked models you could sell yeah and what hustler proved was you didn't need the literature <laughs> you know whenever i went out and got one of those magazines and liked it i bought the duplicate because the pages got stuck together all right <laughs> okay they should have given you two for the price of one right i think jack's got to get going here otherwise he won't be able Bye, to start jack. his show Hey, I'll be, I'll be joining you guys. We have the internet back up and working in Texas, and it'll be fun to be what, with what you was the, What was the problem? Was it uh, your house? No, Russia. Man, we, we had, yeah, thanks. Now, we had this great storm, and we, we have had the most violent weather in my part of Texas during the early spring mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. in the history of my living here. I mean, and uh, the guy that came out to uh, fix my shit today mm -hmm. said he had been, now he got here to my house at two o'clock. He had been up and working and replacing units that hooked up the fiber optics to houses since 7 a.m. Wow. The guy came out today and plugged your, your, your internet back in. Don't lie, you kicked the plug out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Well, have a good time on your show tonight, uh, Jack. I'll have a good time. Please come join us. Okay, try and get all those young kids listening. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this. Fuck them up. In the Corvettes they drove in. <laughs> they don't drive Corvettes. No. BMWs. <laughs> yeah. They don't even drive there's those. A sh there's a ship, a fire sale on a ship out in the ocean. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There are a bunch of Porsches available. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, fuck them in the Porsches they're driving. Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play my theme. Where's my, where's my Vega? Is my Vega outside? Vega. Yeah, yeah, right. Hey, thank, thank you, Jack, you. and uh, thanks to everybody else too. God, this has been kind of fun tonight. Been weird fun. Uh, thank you very much uh, to uh, Kevin for being here, and you should all go to Kevin Stopper on YouTube. And see all the kids playing music and smash that and like button. Smash yeah. that. The, the, the subscribe button. The subscribe button. Subscribe and like. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably get you more people than I've got. Uh, 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 thank you very much to uh, Alan. Very nice having you here, uh, Charlie. You gonna be around later on this week? We'll see. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I might be uh, here. Okay, I'm praying for rain. Okay. Yeah, really. Um, Ray, thank you. Really appreciate you it, Ray. Always good. Thank you. And thanks to the lovely and attractive uh, Brian, Neary, and Jeff. You haven't said a word tonight, so say something. <laughs> so, well, I said I saw Trump. I went Brian's. Oh, that's right. You said he saw his oh, house. Which, which yeah. house? Which house? 
It's got a house in Florida. Oh, the house in Florida. Florida. Okay, because I drive past his original house in Queens all the time when I go to see Shaq. Anyway, we've run out of time here. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I will give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay? And say it's so long, folks. That's it for tonight. Anyway, that's it. That's our... uh, our, uh, uh, panel for tonight. Uh, there'll be a new one assembled any minute now as Jack Bishop does the intersection. He'll be doing it, however, on Skype. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to go over to uh, Skype and uh, uh, just uh, put in Gabnet Live and you'll get him. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time. Same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And, and by the way, please get a vaccination if you haven't gotten one. If you haven't gotten one, wear a mask. If you haven't uh, got a mask, don't blow in my Don't cough in my face. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night. <laughs>